Hey guys, Ultraman52 here. I am pretty tired making this video because I just got home from the flea market. Uh, Aaron just dropped me off about five, eight minutes ago or so, and today is part three of my Christmas collection update, Christmas pickups, whatever the hell you want to call this nowadays. So, yeah. And now part three is going to be the video game. Just know, like, a lot of you really were excited about getting this apart very soon. Uh, before I mention some, before I show off the game, in fact, um, I did get two non-game related items as late Christmas gifts. One is actually over here, uh, on my wall, which is right, right over there. This is a Funko vinyl collectible, uh, rarity figure. Uh, I got that. And one other one is actually, you can see it right here, right here, right, right, right there. I don't know if you can see it, I'm pointing it right here. Uh, that's actually the uh, My Little Pony Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks <coughs> figures of Sunata Dusk and Aria Blaze. Uh, just so you know, that's just that is going to stay on the shelf. In this case, the window seal, and it's going to stay there and not come out of the box. So yeah, let's just go ahead and just talk, talk about games nowadays. So um, I actually got a bunch of DS, well, sorry, three DS games and two DS games. So first DS game I got is Castlevania: Sins of the Night. Big time and long time fan of Castlevania. I love this game series, hands down. Um, kind of plays in almost the exact same style as Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which is, I think, my favorite and I think everybody else's favorite Castlevania, personally. But this is an awesome game. I highly recommend people checking this out. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to briefly go over the game so I can save me some time. So, yeah. Next and final DS game, but not the last of the DS haul. I got like a shit ton of 3DS shit. Uh, we actually have a it's complete. I guess you call it like complete, really. A complete copy of Pokemon Pearl. I need I need this for the Pokemon collection. Uh, that means all I now need is Pokemon Diamond, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, Diamond, sorry, uh, Platinum, Soul Silver, and Heart Gold are the three hardest to find. I also need Pokemon White, Black. Well, sorry, Black and White one. And I need a Pokemon Black 2, and then I have all the Pokemon games on the DS, and I also need Alpha Sapphire on the 3DS, which, by the way, no, I did not buy or obtain um, uh, Alpha Sapphire, so I don't, I don't know why I had to think of the name uh, for Christmas. Uh, I want to get it, but unfortunately, I didn't have the time to. So, yeah, there it is, Pokemon Pearl. Can add that finally to, to the collection. Plus, I love the awesome holographicness of that. It looks cool. Now for the DS shit. Um, first one uh, is actually one that um, I really want to get the collector's edition of this, but unfortunately it's impossible to find now. But it's bravely default. I've heard nothing but good things about this game. Plus it's made by fucking Square Enix, so it's, auto so it's automatically going to be good. Um, yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about this game, truthfully. And I'm actually pretty excited to play it. Next game, this one I got... Uh, like a day or two, yeah, on fr is it Friday, no, like a day or two after Christmas, and I popped this in, I absolutely fucking, like, love this game, and that is, um, <clears throat> that is Fire Emblem Awakening, I'm a big time and long time fan of Fire Emblem, uh, first ever Fire Emblem game, I think, was Path of Radiance on the GameCube, and, uh, yeah, I've been playing every Fire game, sorry, Fire Emblem game ever since, and, uh, I love it. So if you're not, so if you like these types of a uh, turn-based RPG slash strategy games, definitely check out Fire Emblem. It's a great, it's a great game series. Now this is actually one of a game series that I actually intend to get the incomplete collection of, and that is Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. Um, I actually need um, the only other DS Kingdom Hearts game that I need is Kingdom Hearts 358 by two days. Um, that's the only other DS game that I do need. Uh, I also do need to get my hands on um, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. Um, but I will get those at some point in time or another. But I'm going to be playing the Kingdom Heart games in terms of... I'm going to be playing the Kingdom Heart games in storyline order. So I'm going to be playing Birth by Sleep first, which is the first thing that happens in the, in the Kingdom Hearts series. So I'm pretty excited for that. So, But I've seen a little bit of gameplay of this game. And, 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 you know, it looks really fun. Next to this game is uh, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Got this for Christmas. Uh, it's kind of odd that I did. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. Um, I played the, the original on the GameCube, and I was actually surprised that this is actually a sequel 
to the first game. I thought it was actually going to give me a remake, but it's actually a sequel, which is actually pretty cool. And I played the first couple of levels of this. Surprisingly fun. <clears throat> and next game I bought, this one I was like, I gotta buy it, hands down. And that is The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. A Link to the Past, I think, is my favorite Zelda game of all time, hands down. Uh, very, very fun game. Um, I have not played this yet. Um, but, truthfully, I cannot wait, because about my favorite Zelda game, A Link to the Past. So yeah, check it out. And the last DS, sorry, 3DS game that I bought, this one actually is still brand new, factory sealed, you can kind of see right there. But I actually just obtained this today from a friend of mine named Neil. Also, by the way, my friend Neil also bought me the Equestria Girls figure. Right there, you can see it right there. It's right, right, right there. Right there. And it is the a factory sealed copy of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on, on the 3DS. This has becoming this is becoming very, very rare now to find brand new factory sealed. Please note, I'm gonna ruin the value and open this fucker, because I don't give a shit. So yeah, and um yeah, and plus at GameStop, if you were to buy this used, I think it's like forty something dollars used, and it would just be the cart only. And if I'm paying forty dollars, it better it better be everything. So might as well have get it, get, get it complete, sealed. So yeah, I cannot wait to play this. Awesome stuff right there. And time for the PS3 shit. I got, actually got to get a lot of PS3 shit here actually. So I'm just gonna shut and here we go. First off, first PS3 game that I bought is uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection. Fun stuff right there. Check it out. Uh, Budokai 3 is my all-time favorite Dragon Ball Z game, hands down. Uh, next one I got is actually the Mass Effect Trilogy. Uh, quick little thing about this. Has anyone have any experience on this game series, like, freezing? Because um, I played and beat Mass Effect 1. I think that froze on me, like, three times at, like, random points. Even when I just turn on the system and it's only been on for, like, an hour, it, <clears throat> it will freeze at, at, like, a random point. But from what I've played through the game, I think it has only played, sorry, um, like, um, what you call it, like, Frozen, I think like three or four times at most, I believe. But for Mass Effect 2, froze exactly four times, and Mass Effect 3 has only frozen once. So has anyone else been experiencing freezing with the Mass Effect series? So let me know, because, uh, yeah. Uh, Neck and Bot is, uh, but other than that, the Mass Effect series... Amazing series, hands down. The next game that I bought is uh, Saints Row 4. Love this game series. Um, yeah. It's like Grand Theft Auto. It's like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, can't talk. It's like Grand Theft Auto, except a lot funner. And a lot crazier. With aliens. Check it out. I know that GTA 5, I think, has aliens too, but it's only for like one mission or whatever. Then I bought uh, Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Got, got this from uh, Aaron. So yeah, I play them beating this, but uh, I, actually, I actually originally had this game stolen from me from a person who is uh, now in jail, and I think all you should know who he is. He's uh, kind of missing from the video game wizard episodes and also from VGS. I will say no more. But great game, hands down. Then I bought uh, Sonic Generations. This was a game that I actually sold and I regretted, and now I have it back in the, the collection. I love this game, hands down. Very, very fun game. Awesome soundtrack. And just overall, possibly my favorite Sonic game, hands down. And the final PS3 game that I bought... Oh, and I, sh I should actually mention this. Uh, I'll be doing, from now on, every time I get like four to five games... Um, I'll be doing a games pickup video, basically what games I got from the past like couple weeks, if not month or two. So I hope you guys all will enjoy that when I start doing it or whatever. Um, but the last PS3 game that I bought is, well, I was just talking about Kingdom Hearts a, a few uh, like a couple minutes ago, so I bought. So yeah, this like is, I actually got this from a friend of mine named Neil. He also bought me the Zelda and also that right there. I thought it was like right above it, right there. He, but uh, I got from him. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. So all I need now is Kingdom Hearts 358 by 2 days and Kingdom Hearts 1.5. I'm probably going to buy the limited edition of that because that's uh, at Walmart. I think like 40 bucks or whatever. And I'm going to buy it because Kingdom Hearts is awesome. So yeah, I cannot wait to play th this game series like when I actually, um, like, um, ac actually um, you know, complete the series and play it through storyline order. So yeah. 
That is it, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed part three. Stay tuned for the final part, part four, where we take a look at all of the um, <clears throat> all the uh, figures that I bought. Now, please note, in part four, I made it before part three, this part here, and that was actually made a few days ago, so please note that. So, so hope you guys all enjoyed, and sayonara.